Hello everybody. So in this video, I'm going to tone it down a bit. I'm not going to be so rude. Some people say in my comments that uh, I'm too in your face. So this video is about an article that I read today concerning baby boomers. And the article said, right now as baby boomers get ready to retire, the COVID-19 effect on the markets is causing their retirement dreams to go up in smoke. So I have to say, karma is a bitch. For many years, the baby boomers did not care about anybody except the baby boomers. As long as they made money, they didn't care if the environment was destroyed. They didn't care if young people could pay for college. They called us a bunch of snowflakes and we're just a bunch of weak, spoiled, little rotten kids. And now, right when they're getting ready to retire, Oh my gosh, the financial markets implode and now their retirement dreams are going up in smoke. And I just have to say, for 11 years, the financial markets have been going straight up through the roof and the baby boomers have just been getting rich. You know, they love George Bush, couldn't wait to go to war, you know, invaded Iraq, was all behind that, you know, to get the oil. Now, today, we have so much oil that we don't even know what to do with it. We're just storing it in ships off, docked off of the coastline because we're so full of oil because of COVID-19. And all of their retirement, their 401ks, as the stock market has dropped, you know, 20% and will probably continue to drop over the next few months. Now they're all crying. Okay, Boomer, this is called karma. You hated that evil black man named Barack Obama who came in after George Bush destroyed the economy in 2008 and Barack rebuilt the economy. Now, I can't blame Trump even though he does not deserve any credit in fixing the economy, this historically great economy that we've had over the past couple of years since he became president has nothing to do with Trump, has everything to do with what Obama did. But I digress. So it's not Trump's fault that COVID-19 happened. You know, it is his fault that he did very little in the beginning parts of COVID-19 to stop it, but, you know, that's a video for another day. The only thing that I wanted to focus in on this video was how all of these baby boomers were thinking, man, we're great. We don't have to worry about nothing. Everything's going great. The economy is through the roof. Unemployment is down to nothing, and we're getting ready to retire, and then Bam! Karma comes a calling. You don't care about the environment. You know, and one thing I have to say, I've always felt that as the air thickens and the water begins to take on that metallic taste and the ice begins to melt, there's all these primitive little organisms that have been frozen for a million years and now they're getting reintroduced into the world. And it happens right when the baby boomers are ready to retire and they're watching their 401ks just dwindle down to nothing. So I call it karma. It sucks. But now it's your turn. You know, I know that you believe in your higher powers well maybe your higher power is like well now it's your turn to pay so welcome to the real world baby boomers 
you know, there's no reason to cry. Don't be a snowflake now. I see everybody freaking out. Oh, it's the Great Depression and all this stuff. Well, it's a shame that you had to live long enough. And in this article, they're saying that it's a possibility that a lot of baby boomers won't live, which I don't want to see anybody pass away. But they're saying a lot of baby boomers won't live to see the, remar the markets rebound and their retirement plans come back. So it sucks. You know, it sucks. But we do live in interesting times. So welcome to karma. Welcome to the real world. Don't be a snowflake now. I hear all these people so crying about how the uh, economy is about to crash. I got my $1,200 check today, so I guess I'm going to go down to the rusty rhino, put a glove and a mask on my private areas and get a lap dance because what else to do with government stimulus money but blow it frivolously. This is David Zoe Zizzles. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.